Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a wave background animation in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a wave background animation in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, first I would like to add a rectangle object in the timeline. And so, to do that, go to Add Object select rectangle and then click on OK. Now mark your rectangle object on top of the screen like this and I would like to resize this particular rectangle to a particular size and so to do that look inside the coordinates section which is present inside the properties window and inside this particular section you will find this width and height option present. So inside the width option write 1920 and then press enter and inside the height option write 270 and then press enter now place this rectangle at the top of the screen like this perfect now the next thing which we will do is we will create three additional duplicates from this particular rectangle object and so click on this rectangle press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v three times to create three duplicates from the original rectangle and as you can see on the timeline all the four rectangle objects are clearly visible but on screen it is not visible and that's because they are stacked up one above the other at the top and so you need to drag them one by one below like this so this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one and the fourth one is already at the top now what you need to do next is you need to select all the four rectangles in the timeline right click and then select convert to sprite now look inside the sprite object settings which is present inside the properties window inside users container currently yes is selected so change this from yes to no inside show effects no is selected so change this from no to yes inside fill background yes is selected so change this from yes to no perfect now double click on the sprite object and i would like to change the color inside all the four rectangles so let me just select the first rectangle which is at the top and now look inside the rectangle object settings which is present inside the properties window right here below you will find this color option present where currently white is selected so first of all click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right and this colors dialog will open up and let me just select a particular color for my first rectangle so let's say let me just select this particular color and now click on OK. Now let me just select the second rectangle and once again look inside the rectangle object settings and look inside the color option where currently white is selected. So click on this three dots and for the second rectangle let me just select this particular color and now click on OK. Now select the third rectangle, look inside the rectangle object settings right here below you will see this color option where currently white is selected so click on this three dots and select this particular color for the third rectangle and click on ok and finally let me just select my fourth rectangle and once again look inside the rectangle object settings below you will see this color option where white is selected so click on this three dots and for the fourth rectangle select this particular color and now finally click on ok perfect and what you need to do next is you need to add a distort effect so go to video effects go to transforms select distort and then click on ok now look inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window inside type faceted glass is selected so click on this drop down list and select wave and inside frequency 10% is there so that's fine inside amplitude 10% is there so change this from 10 to 4 or maybe 5 and then press enter and inside angle 
zero degrees is there so first of all change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that you get two values to fill zero semicolon zero and now change the values from zero semicolon zero to zero semicolon 360 and then press enter and so now if i just quickly play this video for you so as you can see our wave background is kind of taking shape one final thing which is left to be done is to crop out the top portion as well as the bottom portion and the left portion and the right portion a little bit so that these black portions are not visible and so what you need to do is you need to go to video effects go to transforms select crop and then click on ok now look inside the crop effect settings which is present inside the properties window and right here you will see this crop tools option so click on this option and crop out the screen like this perfect and look inside the cropped borders option and on its extreme right you will see this icon present crop tools icon present so click on this icon and select this third option which is set width according to parents aspect ratio so click on this option and finally click on this option apply effect which you can see it present right here perfect and so if I just go back to the main editing timeline so this is the wave background animation perfect so this is how you can create a wave background animation in vstc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching